Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Miss. How are you, girls? Fine, thank you. Fine, are you? I'm pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. And I'm happy to hear that you are fine. Oh, Excellent. Thank you. Let's thank you very up. much. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> okay, now listen, everybody. Today we have the final review. ¿Ya terminaron su final exam? Yes. Finished. Done. Bien. Excellent. Very good. All right, girls. Solo cuando ya vayamos avanzando y se vayan conectando más personas, vamos a hacer una última parte del final exam, all right? Por okay. si a alguien le hace falta todavía. So let's get with this. We are in class 16. Yay! Look at you. You finished level three. Today? Yes. Ah. Indeed. Yes, today. Imagine you are going really advanced. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's really cool. Now, today I we're going so. to... Huh? I think so, Leo. <laughs> Eso pienso. Uh, Bien rápido. About it. Deep yes. deep people. Yeah, it, it, este, este nivel lo sintieron un poco más difícil. Mm, mm, un poquito confundido, confused. Ah, yeah, because of Por, the past. Correcto. <laughs> pero, right. pero fue más animado. <coughs> sin, hey. Con el respeto a, a todos, ¿verdad? A, a, a los profesores. Yes, excellent. Very good, Emperatriz. Thank you. It's a pleasure el primero, to work. El primero nivel y este han sido el mejor para mí. Yay, excellent. Very good. Sí, I like that. Aunque me <laughs> cueste un poco, Miss. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, me está. Yes, Emperatriz. Give me five. Sí, uh -huh. yes. Okay, there you go. Yes, girls. Uh, it's a pleasure to be with you girls today. Welcome back to your final class. All right. Today we're going to have a final review and let's get into the business. Now, as a part of this review, we're going to see topics that we saw at the beginning of the level, right? For example, this ones and another one. <laughs> okay, but let me see. I'm going to wait for more students to go with this one. Meanwhile, let's go with this, the future we've been going to. So I'm pretty sure that maybe now you remember, right? Ahorita el cerebro, oh no. <laughs> future yes. we've been going to. <laughs> it's true, but don't worry, right? Yo creo que el future we've been going to quizá fue de los temas más fáciles de comprender, right? En este level. Yes. It was a little bit easier. So let's see. We have the questions. Are you going to do anything special this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Si ustedes recuerdan antes cuando utilizamos el simple, no, the verb to be in present, right? Okay. Ustedes solo tenían la opción de decir, yes, I am. No, I'm not. All right? Yes, you are. No, you aren't. Um, pero aquí ya no. Como estamos con el going to un futuro, all right, ya podemos agregar more information. We can add more information and work with that. So let me check. Emperatriz, you are the questions. Genevieve, you are the answers. Action. Okay. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla oh. going to have a party for you? Okay, yes. Jenny, en esta parte, ocupa el gonna, please. Vamos Excuse a ver. me? En esta parte de aquí del answer, ocupa el gonna. ¿Recuerda el gonna? No, uh, no going to. Es el mismo, es el, el gonna. Mm -hmm. es oh, the, yeah. ¿Cómo mm -hmm. suena? All right. Yes, she's, she's gonna to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's gonna to take to take me out for dinner. Are you well going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They are gonna to sing <laughs> happy birthday. No, they aren't, but they gonna they are gonna to give me a cake. Excellent. There you go. Thank you, girls. Now, just for you to remember, right? Qué buena práctica eso. Vamos con lo siguiente. Recuerden, 
El gonna es la contraction, o oh no, la reduction, mejor dicho, la reducción que se le hace al going to unido, right? Entonces, cuando ya decimos gonna, no necesitamos mencionar el to de nuevo. Eh, va a costar un poco, esto es con mucho uso, right? Porque ya nuestro cerebro asimiló el going to, going to. Y ya viene y me dicen, el gonna no vas a decir el to. <risa> All right. Entonces, hay que irlo asimilando y trabajarlo mucho. Eh, practice is the goal, right? Entre más practiquen, esa meta se cumple. So, for example, uh, she's gonna invite all my friends. She's gonna take me out for dinner. ¿Qué les quiero decir también? Recuerden que el gonna solo es la reduction cuando ustedes están hablando. No es una reducción escrita, right? A no ser que sea por un text message, por un mensaje de texto, algo um, insignificante quizás, podemos utilizarlo. Pero ya para cosas formales, please don't use it, all right? Lo correcto es going to. All right. Thank you, girls. Let's go with Carla Garcia. Carlita, you ask and Maria Hi. Sigüenza. Hi. <laughs> Maria Sigüenza, you answer. Solo que Mary, la primera lo va a hacer con el going to. La primera eh, respuesta a la primera pregunta. Pero luego le va a cambiar al gonna. Please. Action. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Your microphone, Mary. Although I'm not sure if she's able to. Mm. Ah, she's busy. I think she's busy. Okay. Let me go with Lady Ventura. Hi, Lady. Hi, Miss. No hay problema, Lady, con que practique. No, this is better for me. Excellent, very good. Okay, so let's start again, Carlita. So let's explico, lady. La primera me lo va a decir con la forma larga que sería el going to, right? Las primeras dos, eh, afirmative and negative. Pero ya las demás, utilicemos el gonna, right? Okay. Action. Let's see, Carlita. Usted pregunta. Sorry, sorry. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes. I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay go home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's gonna to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's... She's gonna to take me out for dinner, for diner. No, dinner, está bien. Okay, dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're gonna to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't, but they are gonna to give, my, to give me a cake. Excellent, really good. Thank you, girls. Now let me check, lady. Déjeme le pregunto. Sintió raro decir el gonna to? Yes. ¿Por qué cree porque que lo estamos, sintió raro? Porque estamos, porque hemos practicado. I'm going, going, going. Es como mm, me gusta usar contraction porque es como más fácil eh, o por la costumbre, ¿verdad? Y porque también realmente cuando hablan el idioma no lo hablan tan literal, ni lo escriben así. Todo lo, lo hacen en contraction. It's true. Entonces, It's true. como no lo hemos practicado, lo hemos aprendido de la forma gramaticalmente correcta. Exactly. Very good. Y sabe también, Lady, por qué lo sintió weird. Porque me estaba diciendo, gonna to invite, gonna to take. Y recuerde que el gonna es la reduction del going to, unido. Going to? Oh. <laughs> All right. There ok. You Así vamos midiendo nuestro listening también. Por eso le dije, ¿cómo? Se sintió rara diciéndolo. All right. <laughs> yes, there you go. Excellent lady. Very good. Eso me gusta, right? Que ya vayan viendo. Ah, I'm missing this. I'm practicing this. Because your pronunciation, girls. Excellent. All right. We're doing good. Very good. Let's go with the next pair. Let me see. Um, Gloria Mena, 
you ask, usted pregunta, and let me see, Karen Martínez, usted responde. Solo que Karen, las primeras dos, va a decir, going to, going to, y ya en las demás va a utilizar la reduction gonna. All right, action. Are you going to anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I am going to cele celebrate my birthday. No, I am not. I am going to stand home. Is Carla going to have a, a party for you? Yes, she is. She is going to indeed are my friends. No, she isn't. She is going to take me out for dinner. Are the wire going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They aren't going, going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't. But they are going to give me a cake. All right, thank you girls, thank you. Now listen, if we are practicing with the use of Ghana, it's because native people, when they talk English, they talk English like this, right? Si ustedes han fijado o han tenido la oportunidad de ver algún TV show o algo en English, se darán cuenta de que ellos, hay veces que ni siquiera se escucha el going to, sino que escuchamos solo el Ghana, Ghana, right? Como si estuvieran asustados, all right? Entonces por eso les estoy poniendo a utilizar ahorita el Ghana. It's essential for you. Como dijo Lady, eh, nosotros estamos aprendiendo gramaticalmente cómo es, pero siempre tenemos que aprender las otras contractions para que no nos perdamos al momento de que alguien nos hable, right? Entonces, el gonna es de lo más común que ustedes van a poder escuchar, right? Y como ellos lo hablan rápido, o cualquier persona que ya sea advanced level lo habla rápido, tenemos que saber distinguir bien when are they using the gonna, right? Um, another thing. As, let me check. As I told you at the beginning of the class, when we were studying this, and as I told you, it, like in the first or third class, when we were studying this topic, this is just for the speaking, right? Cuando ya nos referimos a algo escrito, no vamos a utilizar el gonna, porque eso es informal. Es una reduction que ustedes la tienen que aprender porque la van a escuchar. Eso es seguro, la van a escuchar. Pero... No es algo que ustedes puedan poner en un essay. Supongamos que les toque hacer un essay o algo escrito, una cosa formal o llenar un documento, no pueden poner gana. All right? Llevemos eso. No pueden poner gana. Y en, y en esas oraciones, teacher, ¿en dónde se iba a ocupar el gana? Porque eso fue la Aquí, Karen. La Aquí, donde dicen okay. going to, recuerda que el gana es la reduction del going to. Entonces ahí sería, I'm gonna celebrate celebrate. Celebration my, my birthday. Ajá, exactly. Usted puede decir, como lo hizo, estaba bien. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Pero como tenemos que practicar con el uso del gonna también, pudo haber dicho, I'm gonna celebrate my birthday. Ah, okay. Excellent. Very good. Sí, ahí vamos ya eh, poniendo mucho en práctica nuestro listening, right? Which is really important. Now, let me go with... With the last one, Isis Reyes. Isis, do you No, ask? solo voy a terminar las clases y bajo. Nada más. Okay, uh, let me see. Isis Reyes, you ask. And Karen Heyman, you answer. Solo Karen, le voy a pedir que las primeras dos la diga con I'm going to. Y I'm going to, pero las demás con gonna, please. Okay. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I am going to celebrate. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso, Miss? Celebrate my birthday. Celebrate my birthday. No, I am not. I am going to stay home. Okay. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's gonna in. Invite are my friends. No. Invite. Perdón. Invite. Invite. Mm -hmm. Um. No. She isn't. 
she's gonna take me out for dinner. Are, are the waiter, waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're, they're gonna sing happy birthday. No, they aren't. But they're gonna give me a cake. Excellent. Thank you. Very good, Isis and Karen. That's correct. Thank you, girls. Now let's go back to the next one. Just for you to remember, the future will be going to. This is the structure, right? What do we have in the structure? Um, Jenny, please. Me lee la estructura. Okay. Affirmative subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. All right, girls. Keep in mind, no se nos olvide que aunque estemos utilizando el going to, siempre vamos a adherir un verb, all right? Para que pueda ser nuestro futuro. And there you go. We have these examples. Uh, Jenny Romero, can you please read the examples? I am going to talk in the morning. Um, to Mario is going to buy a new car. Excellent. Thank you. All right, now with this, we enclose the use of going to. Hasta aquí. Este tema ya lo hemos visto, right? Este es un review. Hasta aquí, estimadas participantes. Eh, ¿Tienen ustedes alguna duda que les surja en el uso del going to? Lo que yo no le entendí, mis era de que si, por ejemplo, si el gonna lo íbamos a utilizar en el, en las, como para hacer preguntas. Sí, Karen, también lo puede utilizar el gonna. Puede decir, are you gonna do anything special? Oh, no. Are you gonna do anything this weekend? Mm -hmm. All right. Eso es, Karen, de que lo practique, lo practique. Como les digo, el gonna lo pueden utilizar. Más que todo lo están aprendiendo porque van a escuchar que otra gente lo utiliza. All right. Entonces... You can use it, lo pueden utilizar solo para si ustedes están llenando un documento o algo importante, no vayan a poner gonna, right? Pues porque formal. Es formal. Ajá, exacto. Right? Se les pone a practicar porque lo van a escuchar, pero no es because you're going to really need to use it, right? Um, and I just, I want you to know it, right? Um, what else? De lo contrario, ya saben que solo el going to. <clears throat> Otra question. About this? And remember the contraction. Ya el gonna, cuando ustedes escuchan esa palabra, literal, let me see. Supongamos, gonna. Cuando ustedes escuchen eso, ya lleven en mente, going to, going to, going to, right? Ya no necesitan adherirle al, al el to, la preposition to to the verb, all right? You don't need, no, no, no. You don't need to do that, all right? That's basically it, there you go. Entonces con esto cerramos the future. No more questions. Let's go to the next one. Simple past statements, regular verbs. Now, as if you might remember, this was kind of like easy between, right? Estaba como entre fácil y difícil, right? Fácil porque sabíamos cómo se escribía, but easy because of the pronunciation. So the more you practice, it's easier for you. So let's see. Listen to me and then you will practice. I studied on Sunday. You watched television. She stayed home. We shopped for groceries. They exercised on Saturday, right? Then you have the negative statements, which are pretty simple. You just have to make use of did, right? Or didn't in this case. So let's practice. Vanessa Leiva, usted me va a decir todos los affirmatives. En Lady Ventura, usted va a decir los negatives, all right? Vamos a ir uno y uno, please. Did I study on Sunday? Yes, I did. Yo sí me la alcancé a escuchar el fondo, Vanesita. No sé si Lady la alcanzó a escuchar. No, 
Ah, ahí está. Ahí está. Ahora sí. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. She didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercise on Saturday. They didn't exercise, exercise on Sunday. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Let me go with somebody else. Jenny Romero, you are affirmative. And Genevieve, you are negative. Right? Action. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watch, you watch it, television. You didn't watch a movie. She said uh, home. She didn't stay Sorry. out. She stayed home. You were right. Continue with this one. We shopped. We shopped for grocery. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercise on Saturday. They didn't exer exercise on Sunday. That's correct, excellent. Thank you, girls. Let me go. Ya vamos a pasar a la practice donde están los sonidos, right? And let me see, we have Emperatriz. You are the affirmative and Carla Garcia, you are the negative. Action, please. I studied on Saturday, on Sunday, sorry. Let me check. Do we have Carlita, are you there? Hmm. Let's go with Gloria Mena. Gloria, you are negative, please. I didn't study on Saturday. She watches television. You did you didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay hot. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercise on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Very good. Now, let's get into the other part that I want you to practice with. This is really important. This is highly important, okay? The voiceless sound and the voice sound. Now, let's see. We have ID, all right? Estas que terminan con ID. Pero literalmente cuando ustedes están diciendo la palabra suena como ID. Listen, wanted, needed, right? Suena como ID, right? Wanted, needed. And then you have t, t. helped, looked, washed. Recuerden, para el washed. Relajen un poco más la boca, right? Para que pueda salir el sonido. Watched. Ya para esta, ¿no? Ya aquí lo hacemos más fuerte. Watched. 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 Loved. Breathed. Kissed. Danced. Fixed. Cold. Listen. Cold. Cleaned. Offered. Damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. All right, there you go. Acerqué un poquito la cámara, right? Para que tal vez se escuchara un poquito mejor la pronunciation. Let's practice with these ones. Vamos a hacer una práctica de esto, right? Y todas van a pasar porque aquí es donde yo les voy a ayudar a que si nos falta un poquito, lo perfeccionemos, right? Let's see. Let me go with Karen Heyman, please. Mm -hmm. 
want. Perdón, este es mi, se me olvidaron las primeritas. Ah, want it. Perdón. Want it. Literal, usted va a ponerla ahí, basically, ahí, want it. Me abandonó Karen. Me dejó. Can you repeat the pronunciation, please? Yes, wanted. Wanted. Mm -hmm. Y también está And needed. Needed. Uh -huh. needed. Exactly. Si se han fijado, nosotros conocemos la I como I en inglés, right? Entonces, yes. por eso, donde ahí se crea la confusion. What? Y ahora la tengo que pronunciar como I. <laughs> There you go. But that's the correct one. Wanted, needed. Wanted, uh -huh. Okay, lady, you can pass, please. Okay. <laughs> Wanted, needed, held, looked, washed. Watched. Watched. Mm -hmm. Fíjese que bien relajada la, puso la boca cuando ya dijo washed. Right? Ahora no, ya para el siguiente es watched. Watched. Mm -hmm. Lounge. Breast. Kissed. Dance. Fix. Cold. Clean. Offer. Damage. Love it. Use it. Follow it. Enjoy it. And amaze it. All right, repeat after me. Followed. Followed. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There you go. Se le alcanza a escuchar la de yo aquí. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Very good, lady. That's correct. Si es que recuerden que estas como terminan con D, esa D suena, right? Followed. Eh, enjoyed. Right? Amazed. Let me see. Ah, okay, Gloria. Don't worry. It's okay. Let's go with. Vanessa Leiva, please. Cuando usted necesite ayuda, Vanessa, me dice, right? Okay. Wanted, needed, help, look at, wash, watch, loud, breath, kiss, dance, fix, call, Clean it, offer. Ahí sí necesito ayuda. Damaged. Damaged. Love. Use it. Follow it. Enjoy it. Amaz it. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Vanesita. Repeat after me. Los que pude eh, encontrar quizás en los que vamos a practicar ahorita solo son estos. Looked. Looked. Mm -hmm. All right, de aquí no mencionamos la E. Así como lo acaba de hacer ahorita, está perfecto. Looked. Looked. Mm -hmm. Y esta otra, cleaned. Clean. Look, cleaned. Cleaned. Ajá, excelente, very good. No podemos decir cleaned, all right, porque ya estamos pronunciando la E. Y la regla nos dice que solo la D. And okay. those are the only ones, Vanessa. Thank you. Let's go with somebody else. Let me check. Eh, también, si ustedes quieren que yo los diga con ustedes, you can let me know, all right? Let me see. Genevieve, your turn. Wanted, needed, helped, look, washed, watched, loud, bread, kissed, danced, fixed, called, cleaned. Offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Wow, Genevieve, excellent. Thank you. Let me check. Do we have another one? Let me see. Jenny Romero. Jenny no ha pasado, right? Yes. Ya pasó. Es que fíjense que siempre veo su nombre porque aparece en el último de la lista. Y a veces siento que tengo Alzheimer porque le vuelvo a llamar. All right, Jenny. If you need help, you let me know. Okay, thanks. Uh, wanted, 
needle, helped, looked, watched, watched, loaned, loaned, uh -huh. is correct? Yes. Okay, brought, kissed, danced, fixed, fixed. 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 Okay. Um, call it, clean it, offer, damage, love, use it, follow, enjoy the amazing. All right. Thank you, Jenny. Now, if you can, si todavía puede, uh, you can open your microphone and repeat after me these ones. Looked. Look. Uh -huh. Looked. Looked. Excellent, there you go. Ya no pronunciamos la E, all right? Only looked. And let's go with this other one, cleaned. Cleaned. Mm -hmm. Offered. Offered. Excellent, there you go. Thank you so much, Jenny. Now, let me see. Excellent, Gloria. Okay, Gloria, it's your turn. Ya que si puede, eh, participe, please. Si necesita ayuda con una pronunciation, ahora es cuando me pueden decir, all right? Wanted, needly, help, look, wash, watched, low, S, ah, lost, loud, breathe, kiss, dance, fight, call, clean, offer, eh. Damaged. Damaged. Load. Youth. Follow. Enjoy. I'm All right. Excellent, Gloria. Thank you. Now, si puede, deja su microphone abierto y va conmigo. Amazed. Uh -huh. Amazed. Amen. 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 Uh -huh. Y esta que sería fixed. Fit. Fixed. Fit. There you go. Excellent, Gloria. Perfect. Thank you. Now, what are we going to do next? Ahora sí, les voy a decir quién quiere participar ahorita y si no me muevo a la practice. A la otra practice. Me, teacher. Excellent, Mary. Very good. Okay, Mary. Lo va a decir usted y cuando sienta que no pueda, me dice, all right? Okay. One cheat. Me. Help, look, watch, watch, loud, kiss, bread, bread, kiss, dance, fixed, call, 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 clean, offered, damaged, loved, used, follow, enjoyed, amazed. Bravo, Mary. Excellent. Very really good. Solo deje su micrófono abierto si puede, please. And repeat after me. Kissed. Kissed. Mm -hmm. Danced. Danced. Mm -hmm. There you go. Excellent. Very really good. En esas dos no se pronuncia la E. Excellent. Bravo, Mary. Thank you. All right, girls. Now let's check what else do we have. Ya nos acordamos de la pronunciation. Let's work with this one. All right. These are sentences. Let me check. We have three and six sentences. Sí, estas sí las pueden alcanzar a copiar. All right? Remember, como ahorita solo estamos con los regular verbs. Entonces, ya saben que a los regular verbs solo se les agrega ed. Let's create these sentences, please. Aunque recuerden que una de las reglas gramaticales decía que la Y se cambia por I en ED.
Yes. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Finished? Finished. Excellent, really good. Okay, lady, if you want, tell me number one. Susan lived in New York when was young. That's correct, excellent, really good. Let's listen to, let me see. Number two. Alguien que tenga la number two? Let's see. My teacher liked our presentation. Uh -huh, excellent, there you go. Very good, liked. Let's see, Emperatriz, number three. Emperatriz, are you there? Yes. Okay, tell me number three, please. Okay, my mother studied French at school. That's great, excellent. Okay. Let's check number four, uh, Karen Heyman. Uh -huh, Mary, let's see Maria. Tell me number four. four. The student closed the window because it was cold. All right, closed. Closed. Mm -hmm. Excellent, really good, Mary. Let's go with, um, let me see, Isis Reyes, number five. We started the new, yes, the new unit yesterday. Okay, excellent. Repeat after me. Start it. Start it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. There you go. Thank you so much. And what about Peter, Vanessa? Peter joined the music, music lesson. Excellent. There you go. All right, girls. Thank you so much. Great job. Let's go to my favorite. All right. The past of B. Now, vamos a hacer un um, recalling en esta parte. El past of B. Recuerden que con el past of B no podemos agregar otro verb, right? 
básicamente, si el verbo to be significa ser o estar, en present, in past days, fue, estuvo, estaban, eran, fueron, right? Todos los tiempos que tengan que ver con eso. Pero no podemos mezclarlo con verbs, porque ya cambia el tiempo gramatical, right? Si yo digo, I was watching TV, ya sería eh, past continuous, right? Este es otro tiempo gramatical. Si ustedes recuerdan, para los progressive, creo que ustedes ya vieron los progressive, right? Los continuous. Entonces, para esa parte, ustedes ocupan el ing. Eso en presente, right? Presente continuo. Pero si ya fuera eh, pasado continuo, ya utilizan el was o el where con el ing. Entonces, como no estamos en ese tiempo gramatical, solo podemos hacer uso del was and where. ¿Qué necesitamos para hacer uso de estos? Si no tengo un verb, right? Necesitan tener mucho vocabulary. Right? Mucho vocabulary, saber cuáles serían sus nouns, eh, what propositions can you use, and those things, right? Cosas que ustedes han ido adquiriendo desde el level one. A lot of vocabulary. So let's check. Eh, Gloria, please, tell me the pronouns that we use with where. ¿Cuáles son los pronouns que utilizamos con where, Gloria? Do, they, we. And with was? I, he, she, it. And that's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Now, this is all you need to know, right? Esto es lo que más tenemos que saber. Con qué eh, subject pronouns lo vamos a utilizar. Como les mencionaba, uno de los steps es que no le pongan otro verb. So let's get into the practice. Esta práctica la vamos a hacer escrita y la siguiente la vamos a hacer solo hablada. All right? Title, simple past tense, verb to be. Write was or where in the blanks, please. Let's work on that one. Finish teacher. Excellent. Very good. Very good, Mary. Thank you. Let's wait. Vamos a esperar unos dos minutitos más y comenzamos a preguntar. All right. Thank you. All right, somebody else has finished? Excellent, very good. All right, so let's get started. Let's see, Mary Siwensa, tell me number one and lady number two. It was very cold yesterday. Exactly, there you go, thank you. Lady number two. I was at the park. Mm -hmm. Exactly, simple. Uh, Gloria Mena, number three. Number three. Three. They, they were sit last week. Exactly, thank you. Emperatriz, number four. 
You listen me? Yes, now I can hear you. Okay. Sheila was at home last night. Exactly, that's correct. Thank you. And let me check Carla Garcia, number five, please. Let's see, Carlita. Tiene un poquito de interferencia, no sé si ya habló, ya la dijo. Yeah, there's too much background noise. Let me go with Karen Martinez, please. Number five. We were at school last Sunday. Excellent. There you go. Thank you. All right. Consulta, now, Miss. Yes, lady. Eh, creo que iba conduciendo cuando dijo, porque no es tercera persona I, y usamos was. Y no where. Ah, like in this one, let me check. Number okay. two. Ah, sí, it's true, lady. Yo creo que también usted me comentó eso después, creo. All right, porque yo les había puesto aquí el I también, que creo que también en el video se los ponen. All right. Sí se utiliza el was y también pueden utilizar el where, pero estructuralmente hablando o gramaticalmente hablando, lo correcto sería el was, right? Ah, ok. Ajá. Muy raras veces va, va a haber, hay otro tiempo gramatical donde van a encontrar que lo dicen con el where y se van a quedar qué, all right? Pero el was es como es primera persona, sí iría específicamente si sí, I was, right? Perdón, como el I es primera persona, sí vamos a utilizar el was. Right? Raras veces, muy, muy raras veces. Yo también me quedé boca abierta cuando escuché que alguien dijo I were. All right. That's not correct, but it exists. All right. So in some cases, strange cases. Now let's go. Pero sí, esto que quede claro, mis queridas participantes. El I solo con el was. Right? Nosotros lo estamos aprendiendo de la manera correcta. Let's go with the following. Mm, let me check. Choose the correct alternative. All right? So let's check. In this one, we have negative. All right? So let's go. So lo vamos a hacer orally. Let's see. Genevieve, what do you think it's number one? It was cloudy yesterday. Wasn't? Wasn't. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. And let me check. Maria Siguenza, which one do you think it's in number two? Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Lady, number three. Wasn't. The movie wasn't? The movie wasn't great. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Emperatriz, number four. Okay. They, they weren't at the theater last night Saturday. Uh -huh. Theater. Theater. Uh -huh. Excellent. There you go. Thank you, Emperatriz. And the last one, Karen Heyman, please. Number five. Are my friends wearing at the party on Saturday? Exactly. That's correct. Thank you so much. All right, girls. Let's move on to the next one. Ahora sí, simple past statements with regular verbs. Now, if you remember in regular verbs, they change their natural form, right? Let's be honest. They change. And basically what you need to do in this part is trying to remember, trying to memorize them. Si se recuerdan en el video decía, you need to memorize them, all right? Van a ir encontrando poco a poco más verbs, all right? Y cómo utilizar esos verbs. En este caso tenemos estos que son los más basics, okay? These, these are like the foundations that we have. Eh, Gloria Mena, please tell me the present and past. Do, did. Get up, love. Go, when. Meet, meet. 
Khó Can Have Have All right, excellent. Remember this one. Meet. 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 No, así como está escrito, Gloria. Met, con la E. Met. Uh -huh. Met. Exactly. Exactly. There you go. Thank you. Lady, please. Do, did. Grab, grab. Go, want. Meet, met. Come, cam. Have, have. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Maria Siwenza, please. Get up. Oh. Uy, creo que. Uh, let's see, Mary, please. Come, time. Have, had. Excellent. But then the last ones I did, all right? Thank you, Mary. Let's go with Anita. Anita, está disponible? Yes. Okay, tell me, please. Do this. Get up. Go up. Go, went, meet, met, come, come, have, have. All right, excellent. Repeat after me, Anita. Came. Came. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. There you go. Thank you. All right, girls. Listen. Let's check this up. All right. Now with this, you have these verbs. You have studied them. Let me check. Um. What's the past? What's the simple past of have? Had. Had. Excellent. If what's the simple past of meet? Met. 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 See? So. Okay. Take. Took. 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 There you go. Very good. Si me permiten darles un advice. Algo que funciona mucho cuando uno está aprendiendo estos verbs así es hacer como, no pirámides, pero hacer esto que tienen aquí como un cuadro comparativo, right? Ponen el verb in present y pueden poner el otro en irregular. ¿Verdad? Porque así sí se lo van a poder memorizar más fácilmente. Right? Eso nos funciona a todos los learners. Cuando estamos pasando por el periodo de learning o de ser learners, hacer ese tipo de cosas que se vuelven llamativas para nosotros nos funciona. Right? Now, let's go to the guiding examples. Um, Isis Reyes, please tell me sentence number one. Okay. I had an amazing weekend. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Eh, Carla García, sentence number two. My family and I went to the beach. Excellent. And Valencia Leiva, number three, please. We left on Friday and we came back on Sunday. That's correct. Excellent. Very good. All right, girls. Let's move to the following, right? Entonces, <ríe> esto, es, esto ya es orally, all right? No les voy a quitar mucho tiempo con esta última práctica. Sí, ya es la última que tenemos. De estos, estos son los irregulars, all right? Entonces, de catch, ¿cuál creen ustedes que sería el correcto? Caught. 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 Excellent. Very good. Caught. Y de sí. So. Oh. Uh -huh. Make. Make. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, let me check. Gloria, what's the past irregular of swim? Swam, el último. Exactly, swam. Very good. <laughs> Anita, ¿cuál sería el irregular de eat? Eight. Eight. There you go. Eh, let me check. Jenny Romero, ¿cuál sería el irregular de take? Talk. Genevieve, ¿cuál sería el irregular de go? Went. Mm -hmm. And Karen Heyman, what's the, what's the irregular of half?
Let me see. Emperatriz, what's the regular of have? Have. Have. Excellent. There you go. All right, girls. There you go. That was pretty much it. The whole practice that we had for today's class. It has been a pleasure to be with you, all right? You're very good students. Las felicito, son muy buenas en esto, así que continúen, all right? Pick up the pace, no pierdan. Si ya van ahorita en un buen nivel, all right? Porque las he notado todas y todas. Very good, excellent. No se detengan, all right? Ya van a entrar a las cosas más fáciles, otras cosas más difíciles, all right? Todo es un reto, pero todo es para un beneficio, all right? All right, girls, this is the last class with you. It has been a pleasure, and I will see you maybe <laughs> next year in another level. <laughs> All right. Bye, Bye. me. Bye. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Take care.